Millions of years ago, on a planet named Cybertron, the Autobots faced imminent extinction due to prolonged conflict with their adversaries, the Decepticons, which had depleted the planet's once abundant resources. Autobots Wheeljack and Bumblebee, while gathering energy conductors, narrowly escape capture by a Decepticon patrol. They reach Iacon, the Autobots' headquarters, where Optimus Prime, the Autobot leader, discusses with Lieutenants Jazz, Prowl and Trailbreaker a plan to leave Cybertron on a mission to find new energy sources. Unbeknownst to them, Decepticon spies Soundwave and Laserbeak eavesdrop on their plot. Within their headquarters, Megatron, leader of Decepticons, plans to intercept the Autobots, appointing his Lieutenant Shockwave to oversee Cybertron in his absence. The Autobots begin their quest in Autobot spacecraft, while the Decepticon cruiser follows them in disguise. While traversing deep space, a collision with an asteroid compels them to expend significant energy to clear a path through the ensuing debris. Decepticons take advantage of the situation and board the Autobot ship. Both vessels spiral out of control, ultimately crashing on Earth. Over four million years, Earth undergoes modernization around the Ark and the Mountain, where it is now located. In the year 1984, volcanic activity disturbed the partially buried Ark, triggering the awakening of its computer systems. Teletrain. I activates a Sky Spy satellite to explore the changed world and scans various Earth machinery to reconfigure the Transformers on board into new alternate modes. The Decepticons are the first to undergo this process, with Skywarp being the initial one awakened. Megatron is then revived and assists in awakening the other Decepticons. Megatron notes the substantial passage of time since the crash. An insolent Starscream unwittingly provokes the dormant Autobots within the Ark, leading to the awakening of Optimus Prime as the first Autobot to regain consciousness. Megatron declares its mission is to deplete Earth's resources to construct the ultimate weapon and establish dominance over the universe, a typical aspiration. To kick off their plan, they require a base, leading Megatron to assign Starscream to convert the area for a new Star Cruiser construction. Decepticon Rumble disrupts a nearby power station to acquire raw materials. Meanwhile, Optimus Prime tasks Hound and Cliffjumper with scouting the area. Upon discovering the Decepticons, Cliffjumper impulsively takes a shot at Megatron, which misses. In response, the Decepticons release Laserbeak in pursuit, resulting in Hound being blasted and injured. Cliffjumper returns with assistance. Autobot medic Ratchet and drone hauler arrive to retrieve Hound. Decepticons, Thundercracker and the Reflectors notice an Earth vehicle approaching to investigate the power station's destruction. Reflector captures an image for Thundercracker's analysis, suspecting it to be an Autobot, and communicates with Soundwave. Ravage intercepts the vehicle, causing the human workers to flee. Hound undergoes repairs and conveys Decepticon's plans of actively seeking energy. Prime instructs Jazz to assemble a battle group to pursue them. The Decepticons launch an assault on an offshore oil rig employed by William Sparkplug Whitwicky and his son Spike. While collecting Enigan cubes, their operation is disrupted by Autobots. A fierce battle ensues on the drilling platform. Megatron's fusion cannon blasts the rig's supports, causing it to tip into the ocean and ignite in flames due to the spilled oil. Recognizing that the humans are in danger, Jazz and Trailbreaker use their fire extinguisher and force field to put out the fire. On the other hand, Optimus Prime rescues Spike and Sparkplug, while the Decepticons retreat with their plundered Enigan cubes. Spike Witwicky and Sparkplug use their knowledge of Earth to help the Autobots defeat the Decepticons. They provide the Autobots with information about the volcano's weak points and help them understand the Decepticons' plans. In the end, the Autobots are able to defeat the Decepticons and recover the Enagon Cube. They return to their headquarters, where they celebrate their victory. However, they know that the Decepticons will not give up easily, and they must be prepared for the next battle. Decepticons preparing to launch their ship, which is loaded with Enagon Cubes. Megatron, 
the Decepticon leader is confident that the Autobots will not be able to stop them. Meanwhile, the Autobots are also preparing for battle. They devised a plan to destroy the Decepticon ship before it could take off. The battle begins when the Autobots attack the Decepticon's base. The Decepticons are caught off guard, but they quickly fight back. The battle is fierce, and both sides suffer casualties. However, the Autobots are eventually able to gain the upper hand. Just when the Autobots think they have won, Megatron reveals that he has a secret weapon, a device that can generate a powerful magnetic field. The magnetic field disables the Autobots' vehicles, leaving them vulnerable. The Decepticons take advantage of the situation and launch an all-out attack on the Autobots. The Autobots are outnumbered and outgunned, and they seem to be doomed to defeat. However, just when all hope seems lost, Spike Witwicky, the Autobots' human ally, arrives in a tow truck. Spike uses the tow truck's crane to lift the Decepticon's ship off the ground. The Decepticon's ship is damaged and starts to fall. Megatron and the other Decepticons are forced to abandon ship and crash land on Earth. The Decepticons construct a space bridge, a device that allows them to transport Enigan cubes from Earth to Cybertron. They plan to use the space bridge to steal all of the Enigon on Earth, which would leave the planet defenseless. After the Autobots and their human allies, Spike Witwicky and Bumblebee, stumble upon the space bridge, they are captured by the Decepticons. Megatron plans to use Spike and Bumblebee as pilots to operate the space bridge. Bumblebee manages to escape from the Decepticons and alerts the other Autobots. The Autobots race to the space bridge to stop the Decepticons, but they are too late to prevent the first shipment of Enagon from being transported to Cybertron. The Autobots attack the Decepticons and manage to rescue Spike. They then destroy the space bridge, making it impossible for the Decepticons to steal any more Enagon. Autobots are victorious, but they know that the Decepticons will not give up easily. They must be prepared for the next battle. Megatron personally visits the Autobot headquarters and challenges Optimus Prime to a one-on-one -on -one battle with the loser being forced to leave Earth forever. The Autobots and Decepticons agree to the terms, and the battle begins. Realizing that Prime would find it hard to resist an opportunity to bring their conflict to an honorable conclusion, Megatron returns to his temporary base, where the strength transference machine is stored. He uses this machine to gain the special powers of all of his warriors, Starscream's Null Ray and Cluster Bomb Blast, Skywarp's teleportation abilities, Thundercracker's Sonic Boom and Rumble's Seismic Attack. And so the battle begins. Megatron unleashes his power and Prime finds himself overmatched at every turn. Unaware that he has been misled, Prime admits defeat, acknowledging that he underestimated Megatron. The surprised Autobots start their journey back to base, and the Decepticons follow to make sure the Autobots uphold their end of the bargain. The Constructicons, under the command of Megatron, are attempting to tunnel their way into the Autobots' arc. Teletron I, sensing the imminent danger, activates the Dinobots to counter the threat. The Dinobots engage the Constructicons, creating a chaotic battle that opens up a lava channel. As the battle unfolds, the Constructicons find themselves at a disadvantage against the powerful Dinobots. In a last-ditch effort, the Decepticons use their ability to combine into the formidable super-warrior known as Devastator. This six-piece combination momentarily turns the tide in the Decepticons' favor. The Autobots, bound by the rules,